Hello, gentles and ladymen. I'm Ulan Gaming, and I am joined by my good friend Gideon AI as we talk over this game that we just played. Why don't you go ahead and say hello? Hello! Now, originally, we had wanted to cast this game as a showcase of Gideon's new strat, but unfortunately, the game replay got corrupted and we're not able to actually view the game. Uh, so instead, we are going over my live recording and just gonna talk over it. Like, uh, because like, cause that's the next best thing we got, and it only the, the game only just happened like a couple hours ago, so it's still fresh in our brains, and he can walk through his strategy a as we go. But it'll just be all from my perspective again, unfortunately. Absolutely. But there is a decent amount of early combat, so... Yeah, there, I, I... this was a pretty jam-packed game for a game where both of us went industrial age. Yeah, yeah. That's true. So, uh, have you ever uh, seen the India Fast Industrial before? Uh, yes. I, I don't think I've ever played against it, though, which, uh, which, which did lead me to, uh, to a couple probing attacks, you know, trying to figure out what you're doing, um, mm -hmm. on the fly, just in case. You never know when somebody might surprise you. Uh, so, yeah, the, the, the India Fast Industrial that I like to pull is a, it's a very fun one. You don't send any crate shipments, believe it or not. It's crateless. Ah. Uh. You don't even use the, uh, you don't even do the crate shipments from the consulate. It's just gathering. Which That's makes efficient. it a very, very long age two, but then you just skip age three, usually. Mm-hmm. Which makes it kind yeah, of like I... weird Fast Industrial. I was uh, I was I was going for a for a semi FI I guess you could call it. Um, I er, early on I made sure I scouted out the two native posts on my side in order to claim the remote building on both of them for uh, native treaties, mm. and then and then I shipped the the Cree from the Philadelphia age up. So I had three native treaty uh, bands running around, and that. That was uh, that was what I did during the the transition from age one to two, and I, I shipped the Irish immigrants as well, just to ah, just to life. really be able to focus on. Yeah, because because I wanted to use that 100 starting wood on one of the trading posts, the native trading posts, to gotcha. get really early I, native I should, treaties. I should mention that this um th this casting of the game is under the assumption that you have already seen the live game played uh, earlier. Uh, and so we will be spoiling our strategies and little bits and, and potentially little bits of combat that happen uh, as we go. Like this is made to be watched as a companion video after the actual live recording that I post. Yes, absolutely. Go watch the other video first. <laughs> so <laughs> so it, th this strategy that you pull, what, what an interesting deck you have there. Uh, full of yep. cards that you don't usually see with USA. Um, but his his strategy involves um, combining the very specific native combo where both natives have a building cost reduction tech associated with them, uh, so along with uh, things like land grab, the state capital tech, and the Cree upgrade to make mills as cheap as possible and get a card in age 4 that allows mills to spawn state militia, as well as uh, another card in age 2 that gives them population and line of sight. So you can just litter the map with mills and call that your army instead of training anything. Mm -hmm. So to get there, uh, I, I decided to, to pretty much set all my vills on food. I went for a, a saloon because I knew I wasn't going to be training a whole lot with, uh, with those two uh, native posts yes yeah, so you, you might as just, well just get some coin trickle sure and 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 you can also if you need to train troops you can just train them from the natives you've got the 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 bowmen from the the tupi and you've got it's the skirmishers cup. from the cree and the jesuits provide the dragoons and so it's pretty wood cost reduction and yep wagons. and and construction wagon cost reduction as well and there's a there's a very narrow uh, escape right there. One health on the elephant. That was, <laughs> oh, uh, I didn't even realize that was that low. Yeah, that was oh, just me an elephant. No is on one HP. <laughs> uh, you can see me uh, over here. I have um, an even split on food and coin with six on wood, as well as my wood trickle. And I'm getting the market techs, uh, hunting eagles, placer mines, or. I, I think it's mining filters or something like the blanket filters and um, civilian 
I, I don't remember what the, the the one that increases them all by five percent. I forget what it's called. Mm -hmm. uh, but just getting all of those across the board. I see you've aged up with uh, the 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 Kree one, so I'm, I'm I'm thinking at this point. I don't suspect that you're sending the Kree card. I suspect that you're sending the Philadelphia Pound card for the coin trickle. Yeah, yeah. Which it's, is a it, it is a great card. But, it is a great uh, card. <laughs> But I, I was gonna be mining enough that I, I knew I was I was just gonna want to, to go for the uh, the the shipments of, of coin rather than you know uh, reducing my own mining rate. Mm -hmm. But that that, that would have been uh, I don't know maybe I should do some math. It might actually be better over time. And for logging, so so this strategy. I, I get the two sepoy from aging up with the aggra, and I train five more at the oh, at the aggra, and that's all I train until age four. Mm -hmm. And yep. the, the, I, I just depend on those seven sepoy to just defend my base as best they can. Uh, I usually do some treasure collection, uh, but you came at me pretty fast in age two, so I wasn't able to quite do that. Yeah, I probably could have hit a little bit earlier than this. I was uh, I spent a lot of time lagging around. Um, Normally, I'm able to hit at like 545, but this came at around 6. And I was just kind of throwing everything in there, just trying to tie up villagers. Like I said, any... any uh, I was trying to anything... just back away my army and let my buildings do as much of the work as they could. Yeah, yeah. And uh, here the... you see the, the consulate. And the reason I'm able to depend on just 7 Seaboy to defend everything is because you combine the aggro with the sentries and irregulars, and then you go with the Ottoman consulate in order to get uh, in order to get the Ottoman uh, Minutemen tech. And you can basically stop pretty much any age 2 push. Yep. And so uh, after dealing as, uh, as much damage as I thought was uh, was necessary, I did back off. I wanted to take down that consulate, but that was uh, that that was an excellent defense, and I decided to go out of my way to to go take some some treasures. Unfortunately, while, the sepoy uh, do count as heavy infantry, and you have like nothing but skirms, uh, so I'm down to one yep. sepoy already. Yeah, and I did want to wait out the the health pool of the of the sentries that you called. Mm -hmm. so. Yes, exactly. That's why I figured you were backing off. So yeah. You can see uh, with the diplomatic intrigue card that that uh, that uh, Ottoman alliance only costs twenty five export. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I didn't I didn't quite catch which uh, flag you were going with. Yeah, uh, well, you didn't see it then just yet because it was still getting built. But now you get the settler tech, and you still have enough for those six minute men. It's it's amazing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Four settlers yeah. plus some extra defense. Like the Ottoman consulate is so good, especially in the early game. Mm -hmm. Having an, a whole extra Minutemen pop is just outstanding. Uh, so yeah. the 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 racks that I build with this strategy is purely for upgrades. I don't re usually use it to, to actually get uh, units. I just use. Ah, uh, I see. That. Yeah, seeing this, I probably should have uh, continued my push down. The, like I I kind of probed a little bit on the southern end of the of the base and i, I probably could have uh, messed up some some villagers over there at least in terms of slowing them down but yeah. instead i went all, all the way to the east side of the map to pick up those two bigger treasures i, I was um, pretty food starved at this point yeah I'm, I'm yeah really yeah food everywhere yeah well at least the aggro is covering those other ones on the top left mm -hmm. but uh during this time I, I figured i had some time so i decided to uh just switch all my bills to food and I decided to start aging up, and I tried to stockpile enough for the industrial as well. And the cards that I'm shipping are uh, the the state capital card. Yeah. And of course, for the ra ra rather than using the upgrade for the outpost wagons, or sorry, for the for the, for the fast age up. Uh, oh yeah, no, I didn't use the fast age up either. I yeah. I held, I I saved my uh my free upgrade because in order to get the cheapest mills you need to activate that upgrade after you've already gotten your two native techs it's weird to me that that's so that it's dependent on order yeah the only other time i've ever saved the free state capital tech is um for a very particular fast uh in for a, for a very particular fast industrial strategy i created uh, for USA that involved saving the tech for the free 100 pop tech in age four. <laughs> ah, interesting. Yeah, that one was a weird one. 
That's pretty smart though. It's like you, you, you send a shipment and then later on you, you get a hundred you get ten ten houses for free. That's pretty nice. Yeah, exactly. But uh yeah, no, so if, if I s if I spent that uh that so free upgrade on I've, the I've I've herded that into a to a much safer location. Yeah, yeah. But if I had sent the spent the And I'm the, a little card I'm, on I'm honestly Sorry. a little worried at this point because I need lots of food in order to get it to age four, and I'm not gathering it fast enough because I forgot to get Imperial Bureaucracy at the market at first. Um, yeah. And in addition, I'm, I'm having this issue where um, it's not just that I need 2,000 food to get to age four, it's that pretty much all of India's age four cards cost food. Right. Large amounts of it, too, like 750 yeah. to 1,000. Mm hmm. I'm actually uh, shocked that my score is so high right now. Uh, I ended up with Kentucky. Have just you started because... building mills yet? Uh, no. no, 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 no. So, um, I will start building mills after I gather enough to age up to four. I might have gotten enough to age up to four by now, but after that, then I also needed to get the yeah. So I got my Kentucky sharpshooters uh, from the age up. Um, I don't really use any Kentucky cards. I just I just wanted uh, age three upgraded uh, units rather than regulars. So. Uh, I, I knew that those uh, those guys were like at one health, so I took them out. So I and I normally don't actually send the, uh, the, the, the 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 elephants are actually at full health, but uh, I don't normally send the nine sepoy card. But I felt like I needed to uh, because all seven of my starting sepoy died. I normally save that shipment for age four and send fourteen sepoy instead. Mm. So there's some pure bureaucracy coming. Gotcha, up. and and also because you're Indian, you have a you have a cheaper upgrade to veteran, right? Um, no, uh, actually. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's, uh, natives, that's a... it's natives that have natives. cheaper upgrades. Got it, got it. And Chinese, yeah. And Chinese, um, yeah, that's true. Okay, so, but yeah, so I was I was busy collecting all the uh, all the resources needed. I, I think I stopped, yeah, I stopped at two houses. So I only had 30 pop max, but I kept hitting the Minutemen button every time it came up, and then I also needed enough yeah, to that's, that's the research. Most important. For those of you who are trying to learn USA, remembering to hit the Minutemen button every time it comes off cooldown is the single greatest skill you can develop as a USA player. Yeah, it's uh, it's now pretty you, wild the value you get from that. The Chalmanar Gate is going up as well now. And then the Minutemen are also going to get upgraded when I get to age 4. So the Taj Mahal uh, gives me the ceasefire button and the Chalmanar gate allows me to create super units that buff uh, similar unit types around them. And oh now, yeah, you got the Taj Mahal. Yeah, and uh, now I'm starting to train Sepoy out of my Agra Fort. Uh, and I'm trying to save up a good amount of wood for the uh, for the Honored upgrade. Mm. But um, yeah, so... At this point in time, uh, I think I was probably done gathering all the resources to get the two native techs. And then I would research the two native techs. And then uh, while researching the Cree one, I shipped the land grab card. So the land grab Damn, card reduces yeah. the cost. And I needed the land grab like and the. Right? Uh, yeah, I think so. 40%, yeah. Such a big discount. No normally a useless card, but like so great in this context. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's also decent with the the Mexican Hacienda boom still. Um, but anyway, so I hit Industrial. Uh, I aged up with Vermont to get access to that that lovely, lovely card. Yep, for, I, uh, I ended up checking your deck pretty much immediately as soon as I see the, the mills, the mill wagons. Yeah. I'm like, did he, did he do the Vermont thing? He did do the Vermont thing. <laughs> Wait, do you get two Mahouts from aging up with Charminar Gate? Yep. Oh, man. I know, right? That was a good call. <laughs> the, oh my gosh okay so there's the uh tech. yeah so so you uh you, you got to get the the two you got to get the oregon trail and land grab after you get the two native techs so that's the order that you, you got to hit it in so at this point i've done all that and i'm currently uh flooding the map with mills i needed to ship the card that i, I set all the villagers to chop wood and then i also sent the hey, what, card that why, why don't you tell everybody how much your mills cost 28 wood <laughs> for a mill wagon it builds itself in like five seconds <laughs> takes five seconds to train 28 so, wood for a five the first, second building here's the mill. first wave of uh of state militia 
And so, so I shipped the card that makes the the mills turn into houses. And so search. I got housing for days, and then I shipped the card that ships instantly, which spawns three state militia from every uh, from every one of those uh, mills. The ceasefire is in. Thank God I did that ceasefire. I saved every one yeah. of those mills. I. I, I just kind of like I said to myself, this game's over by now. I'm, I'm just gonna throw everything in there. You got far, a lot I don't of care. Units. Maybe I'll walk back and, and then. Uh, I, I have the uh, the Mansub Dar train for the thing, and I, I'm literally just trying to bide myself time until that 14 unit shipment arrives. Yeah. So I just kind of attack moved while I was trying to micro all the mill building. Uh, the the mill wagon building is really weird and difficult um, it is it that was one of the things i ran into when i this is a strategy that i tried to make a long time ago to no avail because i kind of forgot that natives existed um and like hey what's this pop right here looks like there's a ton of uh uh did, did you ship a card or, or send it up, up send an upgrade it didn't look like it i i i just shipped more more house so okay, the, gotcha. my two initial ones died and i shipped four more gotcha but yeah, sepoys. Uh, are, are these? Uh, I can't remember. Is honored the? Uh, yeah, these are is, honored sepoys. They're muskets. Is honored uh, uh, guard or veteran? It's guard. Yeah, guard. Okay, okay. So these are H four upgraded sepoys against H two unupgraded state militia. Yes. So we lose the first round of combat. And I feel um, like that you killed my Mansador right before you left. I had to retrain it. Um, and I see those culverins there. They actually showed up in my line of sight because the the Ottoman consulate gives me extra line of sight. Yeah, yeah. I. I shipped culverins and I, I basically did nothing with them. Um, that that was another major thing. I was like, "Oh man, I've and got so many mills. I can do whatever the, I want." Here's the moment. I shipped culverins because I was like, "The only thing that can stop these guys are uh, are artillery, right?" Uh, wrong. Elephants stop state militia too. So so I said, "Oh no, uh, my 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 only solution is to uh, is to well, body block the wagons." Screw up my attack move, by the way. Those sepoys <laughs> are just they're in melee forever. <laughs> yeah. So, so I, I quickly ran out of room to build mills. Uh, I was I was trying my darndest to to build them on the north side, on the east side, but your uh, town center no build radius was was uh, blocking uh, a huge portion of the map for mills. Because yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah. Uh, so so I was like, you know what? I've got all these wagons. They're twenty eight wood a pop. They they don't cost any population they've got 300 health and they have no tags so i can and use them to block pretty well what, what you really should have done is just double clicked a whole bunch of your mills and just deleted and made the whole yes. bunch of space i mean i would i would have given you a, a gazillion xp for that but um but yes i should have done it anyway just to get my uh i mean cause you because you killed like 30 wagons right there that's that's like 90 state militia yeah and it was much easier alternative and I, I still got xp for the wagons too yeah, you don't no, get that. Really? Yeah, I'm pretty Doesn't sure. Doesn't look like it. Did I, did I not? We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, when, you, you'll, you'll kill a lot more wagons in this replay. Trust me. <laughs> yeah, I do get a lot more wagons. Um, yeah, okay. So, uh, but yeah, what? in, in hindsight, I actually could have just uh, waited for my, my ma major push uh, and actually shipped or a actually attacked with, you know, like 150 state militia with a, you know, 30 plus wagons in the front of that yeah, the six and then and yeah, I, I feel like one of your biggest faults was just never getting the upgrades for state militia you needed the better NC upgrade like yeah that, that would have been huge because it's like I mean you've got 100 state militia right you know and the veteran upgrade is like what 20% 200 uh, wood 200 coin yeah, yeah. I mean gar guard would have been nuts though because it's uh, 1000 wood 1000 coin I still could have gone for it might have been worth it I did end up sending the card, uh, the the rifle infantry card. Can I uh, rifling? No, no, it's just fifteen percent HP, fifteen percent. Uh, oh, attack, Continental uh, for, Rangers. Uh, yeah, yeah, Continental Rangers. So I did send that. Oh, um, Urumi. Urumi are so fantastic. They're skirmishers, but they they're melee and area of effects. That's what what such a weird unit. Yeah, so I needed to have sent like the horse artillery or the heavy cannons. Which I had in the deck, because um, those would have helped out a lot against Speaking the Arumi. I didn't see the Arumi coming. Bombards. Yep. And, and I should have saved the. Oh, you're right. The wagons don't give XP. Ah, uh, okay, okay. 
So it, circling it's, the wagon. It's still worth it to, I think, delete the the the, 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 the mills, though. They don't give that much XP, I don't think. Really? It's uh, 160 XP to you per mill. Is it really 160 XP? Yeah, because I'm getting 80 when I build them. And it's double, usually. Interesting. I had no idea. But yeah, this was kind of when I was getting serious about uh, unit micro. Um, <laughs> a little bit. This chaotic thing. <laughs> there, there come my horse artillery. Beautiful horse artillery. Just in time for uh, a great bombard to be ready to fire again. That wasn't any good. You end up getting one of the great bombards uh, off, off screen right here, I think. Yeah, one of them's dead now. Yeah. Probably from the horse artillery. It's too little too late, though. That was, uh... Yeah, I, I, I can tell exactly where your state capitals are, because I'm like, there's th they're, they're coming from the same source and direction every time. So at this right. point, I'm just like, I just need to march my units forward and just <laughs> find this damn state capital. <laughs> Yeah, it's funny because you get so many building cheap, cheap building techs uh, that getting the second state capital up is only like 168 wood. Oh, so I did that in the transition nice. from age three to age four because uh, I had done a couple play tests of this build against the AI and I found that I was quickly uh, uh, amassing too much wood um, that, that I couldn't spend. So it's such a funny yeah. game to just so many mills everywhere. <laughs> and this is like. 30 villagers are are producing uh, this many uh It's only 30 villagers. Wagons. Yeah, I've only got 30 wow, bills in the back. That's Maybe crazy. 20? Might be 20 bills. Might actually just be 20 bills. Um it's probably actually 20 bills. But I did have some Cree Carrer de Bois. Um I I trained some of those along with my uh, regular bills in the earlier part of the age 2. Forgot to mention that your units are messing with my with my pathing so much that my, that, that like it's taking me forever to explore anywhere because my units are just like must kill mill wagon must kill mill wagon. You're 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 making them faster than I'm killing them still. Yeah, I was I was still trying to. It, it took me a while before I built up all over you know over everything that I could build on without having to delete anything. Um, honestly, some of those sections of, of land, it's like, okay, a mill could totally fit there, but no, turns out that not, not actually true. Mm -hmm. Um, so, so that's why there's still state militia trickling in every now and then it's because I, uh, I kept finishing building like on the far South. Yeah. You can see them now on the South side attacking your base. Yes. Um, yes. I did see that you were building, but, down there. but also still too little too late. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, so did you clean up the second state capital already? I did, yes. They're both they're both dead now. Okay, so now the mills end and uh, and my plan does uh, involves shipping heavy cannons and using what what remains of my uh, forces to uh, to out micro in, in, in the, the darkest hour. Um, unfortunately, uh, my, my dumbass had... was trying to um, build a carbon SRI so I could get some sours, completely ignoring the fact that there is an agra perfectly capable of training sours right next to that fucking stable. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Feels so stupid. Yep. That's, I mean, hey, it's, it's easy to forget. The, uh, the agra can also train, uh, Mahouts and Howdahs if you upgrade it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Man, those Urumi just tear through state militia. That was, that was, uh. Yeah, they got range resistance and was really high. They actually do range damage in melee, by the way. Right. You see that? It's range damage. I could have kited. I could have kited. I never sent long rifles. They're, that that they're was another really thing fast. I probably should have done. Although state militia are also fast. I think Urumi are faster. I think they're 4.75. Yeah. So, yeah, you destroyed the TC, and that interrupted my. Uh, heavy cannon shipment. Oh, so I, is, did that happen? I was wondering yeah, why so, you were building that outpost down there. Right, yeah. So I built an outpost because all of my villagers were had been inside of the TC, so they, they went south. Um, I got my uh, Cree Carreau de Bois <laughs> on it because they build faster. Everything's, you're building an outpost right on my vils. Yeah, <laughs> it's just, yeah things got pretty silly game, right then there. <laughs> yep. That's it, the last stand. 
you got you got away with several bills around the map, but I couldn't. There goes the flag. So I'm just like I might as well scout with my great bombard. There's nothing better for him to do. <laughs> The, the room yeah. even have good siege for a skirmisher. They're two pop, but they got 46 siege on them. Yep, that's not bad. You get them in shipments of nine, so you get, you get a pretty good amount of them. It's a lot better than state militia siege, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is the one thing state militia do not have going for them, you know, other than damage as well. Mm -hmm. And HP and uh, yeah, everything. Yeah, at this point, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I think I got a little confused. I think I had one yeah, construction have, wagon left. I, I I think you also managed to get away with the settler over in the left side that I that I missed. Ah, uh, okay, 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 okay. I think I, I was I was totally expecting away. the uh, you know, uh, you have lost right, you know, because you lost literally everything that can do anything. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I think I had a yeah a wagon or a settler somewhere. L look at the mini map. Look how many red dots are on this map. Yep. Now, I burned yep. down quite a few of them, just coincidentally, as I was rampaging through. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's nutty. It's... What it's... a goofy strategy. I love every second of it. <laughs> yep, it's fun. It's weird. It's fun. Um, you know, it would... With some practice, you know, it, it could be, uh, it could be pretty, uh, pretty mean to, to fight against. Um, in this case, though, I, I just kind of you know, attack moved everything because I was too busy trying to figure out how to make it work. Um, but I yeah, wish there I it is. Your deck again at some point during this game uh, after uh, after the, the post game. I don't think I did. Um, but man, this was such a fun game, and uh, I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna learn how to do the strategy. You know, I'll probably get your help with that, and then I'll Very show cool. it off to, uh, to I'll show it off to, to the whole world to see so that it will never, ever work again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. There's, there's like, five maps that have 2P on them, I think. So Yeah, so but this uh... is the only one with 2P and Jesuit, right? Oh, well, the, the Jesuit just increased building hit points. You don't need them for... Wait, anything. I thought the yeah. Jesuit did the cost as well. Uh, not as... Not, I don't think so. I'm yeah. pretty sure it's just building hit points. Okay. But, I thought for um, sure it was. Too, I thought for sure it was both. I didn't research it. Oh, okay. so, gotcha. I mean, maybe that would make it free. I don't know. <laughs> free mills. Um, I'll double check. But um, I'm I'm pretty sure it's just building hit points. The the buttresses. Um, but yeah, no, it's uh, uh that that's true. This is one of the few maps with uh with a combo. This has both a a, a religious settlement and a native settlement on it. Um, mm. so it has different icons on the mini map, as you yeah. can see. So yeah. Thank you so much for joining us, Gentles and Lady Man. This is a this was a really fun game to play. It was a really one fun game to talk over as well. Mm-hmm. And Agreed. It's, it's a shame that the the recording is is corrupt because it means that it won't it won't get attention on Age of Bison, and I'm an attention whore. <laughs> I'll admit I enjoy the attention too. Thank you so much for bringing me on here. Absolutely. Um, it's been uh. Thank you so much for joining me. This has been a really fun evening, uh, and and of course it wouldn't be uh, it, it wouldn't be what it was without an opponent like you. So um, <laughs> does dumb I mean, shit like crateless fast industrial. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I yeah. Gosh. All right. Well. It's dumb shit versus game. dumb shit. Yes. Good game. Well played. Good game. Well played. Have a great day, man. Bye.